Oh, well, don't we get this to short person height? <laughs> Before we get to the next speaker, who's Steve Elwood of English Scots for yes, this gentleman here's name is Graham Bell. We have an open mic session, so anybody who'd like to come and say a few words, if you can give your name to Graham, for yes and Bernice, and whatever organisation you may be associated with, and I'll introduce you to the mic. Okay, our next speaker is Steve Elwood from English Scots for Yes. Yes! Hi there. As we've been told, I'm Steve Elwood. I'm not actually from English Scots for Yes, I'm just some random that came down because Graham asked me to. <laughs> I came down here to make some noise. Because I'm not going to be told to shut up. Do what you're told. I came here to stand up and be counted. Why is that important? I'll tell you why. It's because I'm a new Scot. As you can guess, I'm not from around here. I'm actually from the Highlands, from a wee town called Cromarty. That's where I'm from now. And that's what counts. Where I'm from now, where you're from now, where you're from now. It doesn't matter where you came from. We're here now. This is our country. We're going to make the decisions in this country for Scotland and for our countrymen, whether they're Scots or new Scots. We'll make the decisions. Decisions for Scotland, by Scotland, and in Scotland. Yes. Stuart mentioned earlier, 1320, the people of Scotland declared they were sovereign in their own land. No monarch, no lord, no prime minister, and indeed, no government tells us who rules us. It's Scotland's choice. Yes. Westminster in general, and the Tories in particular, think they've beaten us down. They haven't. We're not beaten down. We're not doing this. It's time to rise. We're not taking this nonsense from the Tories and their better together pals, the Labour Party and the Liberal Democrats. It's time to stand up. I'm not going to be knocked down by Westminster. I'm not going to see you knocked down by Westminster either. Side by side, foot to foot, we're going to stand together. We're being told we can't have a referendum. We're told we made a choice in 2014. That was six years ago. We chose to stay in Europe. We didn't choose austerity. We didn't choose nuclear weapons. We didn't choose the Labour Party with their one MP. We didn't choose the Liberal Democrats and we got shot of their arrogant leader. Most especially, we didn't choose the Tories. We didn't choose the Tories and we haven't since 1955. The Tories put the India referendum on the ballot paper for the election. They lost again. The choice of an independent Scotland isn't the Tories or their wee pals. To be fair, it's not the SNPs or the Scottish Greens either. It's Scotland's choice. That's your choice, my choice, the choice of the people who make Scotland their home. The people of Scotland decide who rules us. This isn't England. This is Scotland! Here we're the people. It's Scotland's choice. I'm told there's going to be a constitutional convention. And our views will be tested. My councillor knows my views. My MSPs do. The MP. Those who were my MEPs knew. The power isn't in their hands. The power's not in Westminster's hands. It's not in Holyrood's hands. It's in our hands. Yes. 
the power is in our hands, we will not let them take it. Resist the power grab. It's Scotland's choice, and we, the people of Scotland, choose independence. Okay. Thank you, sir. That was wonderful. Now, are we...